I will explain the procedure for the overhaul of cylinder head. Prior to the disassembly, prepare the hydraulic tools. This engine has a feature that enables you to easily carry out the work in disassembling and assembling with the use of the exclusive hydraulic tools. Wrap the coupler with seal tape should an oil leak occur from the hydraulic tools. and prepare the cylinder head lifting tool. Let's start disassembling the cylinder head. Drain cooling water of cylinder block and detach the exhaust manifold cover. Remove the bolts of exhaust manifold. In doing so, loosening the bolts of the cylinders on both adjacent sides of the target cylinder will make the work easier in reassembling. And remove the piping and fittings attached to the cylinder head. Detach the cover of rocker arm chamber and remove the tightening nut of fuel valve. Remove the fuel injection valve with the drawing out tool. And remove the rocker arm shaft pedestal and push rod. After removing the fittings around the cylinder head, remove the tightening nuts of the cylinder head by using the exclusive hydraulic tool. First, however, before attaching the tool, remove the protective rubber cap that protects the cylinder head attaching bolts. The work for attaching the hydraulic tool starts from fitting the spacer to the tightening nut of cylinder head bolt. In doing so, align the notch of spacer to the contiguous head slide. Fit the spacer to all of the four tightening nuts of cylinder head. Attach the hydraulic jack to the bolts and screw it in until it sticks fast to the spacers of the respective four nuts. By turning the hydraulic jack clockwise, it is tightly fastened to the cylinder head bolt. Connect the hydraulic hose to the hydraulic jack. Tighten up the tightening screw of the hydraulic hose firmly. Next, connect the hydraulic pump with hydraulic hose, operate the air valve of hydraulic pump, and open the relief valve. Loosen the hydraulic jack counterclockwise by about half turn after tightly fastening it. This is to prevent the possibility that it could not be detached as a result of no clearance left when you apply the hydraulic pressure on the hydraulic jack. After the hydraulic jack is set into the four cylinder head bolts, check again the direction of spacer. Check that it does not interfere with the tightening nut of the adjacent cylinder head bolt and also 
if the hole for loosening the tightening nut of cylinder head bolt can be seen from the clearance of the spacer. This is the end of the work for attaching the hydraulic tool. In applying the hydraulic pressure on, check again each attaching portion of hydraulic hose beforehand and finally, close the relief valve of hydraulic pump tightly. Loosen the tightening nuts of cylinder head bolts by applying the hydraulic oil pressure on the hydraulic jack. Operate the pump lever to raise the hydraulic oil pressure to the specified value. After checking by the pressure gauge that the hydraulic pressure has risen to the specified pressure, put on the lever stopper of the hydraulic pump. To remove the tightening nuts of cylinder head bolts, insert the exclusive turning bar in the notch of spacer and loosen it counterclockwise by about 7 or 8 turns. In doing so, be careful not to damage the tightening nuts and the screw of cylinder head bolt. Gradually open the relief valve of hydraulic pump to decrease the hydraulic pressure to 0 MPa after all four tightening nuts are loosened. Screw the hydraulic jack in until it is stuck to the spacer and drain hydraulic fluid from jack completely. Remove the rubber hose and remove the hydraulic jack and the spacer. The tightening nut of cylinder head bolt can easily be removed by hand. Remove the nut with care not to damage the screw of cylinder head bolt. A leak of hydraulic fluid while using the hydraulic jack could lead to the spout of the fluid under high pressure and result in physical injury. Therefore, don't use the hydraulic jack with a rubber hose having a flaw or an oil leaking portion. Furthermore, don't burden the outside of the rubber hose and don't bring your face close to the jack or branch during the procedure. The cylinder head is removed by using the exclusive lifting tool. Firstly, fix the lifting tool to the tightening bolts of fuel valve. After fixing, put the crane and lift up vertically with care not to damage the screw of cylinder head bolt. After drawing the cylinder head, clean the carbon in the cylinder liner or at the top of the piston by the descaling agent. After cleaning, cover the cylinder so as not to allow dust and foreign matters to enter it. Remove the suction and exhaust valve supporter from the detached cylinder head. To remove the suction and exhaust valves, remove the valve rotators cotters, and valve springs. Prepare the exclusive tools for removing. Firstly, fix the lifting tool of cylinder head to the tightening bolts of fuel valve by the drawing out tool B. Turn the handle clockwise after attaching the exclusive tool.
Remove the cutter while holding valve rotator and valve spring. Turn the handle counterclockwise and release the compression of valve spring. After detaching the exclusive tool, remove the valve rotator and valve spring. Lay the cylinder head and draw out the suction and exhaust valve. Draw out the steam seal fitted in the valve rocker arm. At the same time, eliminate the carbon on the combustion surface. Check the combustion surface and the suction and exhaust valve by penetrate test for cracks. Check for sulfuric acid corrosion and bend of the suction exhaust valve stem and high temperature corrosion of the valve poppet and also rub the valve and its seat. Improper rotation of the valve rotator will cause carbon to get caught in the valve seat and blow by at the seat. And it also affects the service life of the valve and valve seat. Therefore, periodically overhaul and check the valve rotator. Here's how to do it. It's possible to disassemble the rotator into the body, ball plate, Belleville spring, and spring shoe by removing the circlip. Wash the disassembled parts with washing oil. Check if there are no abrasions or corrosion in each part after cleaning. If there are any damaged parts, replace them. At this time, mark on the rotator so that it is easy to check the revolution work during a run. Check the valve seat and if it's over usage limit, renew it. Build up the whole circumference of the valve seat face by arc welding to remove the valve seat. If it is difficult to remove it, further weld an iron plate and hammer out the valve seat through a round rod driven into the valve guy. Insert o-ring into a new valve seat and cool it with inserted o-ring by a cool conductor. Just before inserting the valve seat, apply the anti-seize and the silicone-based liquid packing into its hole of cylinder head. Insert the valve seat. In doing so, use the valve to fit it quickly. After having replaced the exhaust valve seat, be sure to conduct the hydraulic test and check that no water leaks from the mated part. After a complete check, reassemble the cylinder head with any necessary replacements. Incorporate a new stem seal by the tool. At this time, be careful not to damage the lip of stem seal.
Apply lubricating oil on suction and exhaust valve and then insert it into the cylinder head. Check the marking of cylinder head to avoid mistakes. Reassemble the valve rocker arm spring, valve rotator, and cotter in inverse order for disassembly. After reassembly, check that the rotator turns smoothly. Install the connecting pipe of cooling water into the cylinder block before returning the cylinder head to the engine. At this time, make sure to renew O-ring. And also replace the head packing and boost air packing to a new one. Regarding the connecting pipe of cooling water, confirm the distinguishing mark to avoid the positioning mistake. Fix the lifting tool of cylinder head to the tightening bolt of fuel valve and lift it. Check there are no foreign matters in the cylinder and return the cylinder head to the engine. Fasten the tightening nut of the cylinder head by the hydraulic jack. The procedure of hydraulic jack is in the same way when assembled the tightening nut of head. Return the fuel injection valve by the exclusive tool. Furthermore, assemble each pipe and restore the cylinder head to its original condition. After assembling the cylinder head, adjust the clearance of suction and exhaust valve in the following procedure. Firstly, turn the flywheel to set the piston of the cylinder for which the clearance is to be adjusted at the TDC of the compression stroke. At this time, if the push rod moves slightly, judge it as being in the compression process. Loosen the lock nut and then loosen the adjusting screw of rocker arm and valve guard. Tighten the adjusting screw of valve guard little by little while holding its upper part and then adjust the clearance to be on zero point. After adjusting, fix the adjusting screw and tighten the lock nut completely. Secondly, insert the feeler gauge into the clearance between the adjusting screw of rocker arm and valve guard. Tighten the adjusting screw of rocker arm little by little. Fix the adjusting screw in a point from where the feeler gauge can be easily drawn out and tighten the lock nut. After tightening the lock nut, insert the feeler gauge again to check it can be easily drawn out. 